Welcome to BDA Online Tutor. This is an online platform that deals with business data analytics. If you are watching this video on YouTube, I ask that you subscribe, you like, and uh, you ring on the notification bell. And uh, if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. And uh, also like the videos. And uh, we also offer online classes at a very affordable prices. And uh, we have various packages that you can enroll for. I think somewhere there you can see the packages with their respective prices. So you can lie us with me because also you can see my contacts on the screen somewhere. You can lie us with me and uh, I'll see the, the second, uh, maybe the second topic, uh, the second subtopic, I mean, subtopic under auditing. And uh, this our file is very full. This file has combined everything from to fraud, also from to test of controls, to, to audit sampling, and also to model review. So like um, liars with me, you, you when you liars with me, you get the file plus the plus the video, and it becomes very 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 easy, very very easy for you. It becomes very very easy for you. So like three order matching, like uh, let me just take a little time and explain what three order matching is. Three order matching is is a situation where maybe you have three lists and uh, you want to compare them. And see that, and see if the list, if the list have everything. Like, what is in list A? You, it's just to confirm what is in list A is in list B, and it's also in list C, isn't it? So you just uh, it's like matching the three lists to see which values are in all the lists and which ones are not in all the lists. So here we've been given the steps. You arrange the three data sets in separate tables set a column in each table that contains a unique identifier of each order. For example, you should use the purchase order number or the invoice number as the unique identifier. In the fourth table, create a column that lists the unique identifiers to the orders. This will be the master list of orders that will be used in a three-way match. In the same table as step three, create three additional columns, one for the purchase order amount, one for the receipt amount and one for the invoice amount. Use the VLOOKUP function to look the purchase order in a amount for each order in the purchase order table and enter the appropriate column in the master list, say master list table. Use the VLOOKUP function also for the receipt and I will also use it for the invoice. After the VLOOKUP function, we'll go to the AND, the AND function that I will use to will use to match them. And uh, you can go ahead and do also conditional formatting to highlight the rows where the AND returns false. Okay, uh, we shall just do an example, I think. Um, so here we are, what what we are saying is BD limited. The information below relates to BD limited. The financial information has been extracted from different department as follows. The purchases order were created by the procurement department to order for goods. The accounting department prepares the invoices when suppliers are paid and the stores department prepares the goods received notes upon receipt of goods. Required, prepare a three order matching list to identify if the goods had been located recorded properly in the books to determine whether all transactions were properly recorded. So these ones are very simple ones. So as you've said, uh, we will start with the VLOOKUP function. We start with the VLOOKUP function. So under invoices, I said we start with one. So we come here, equal, then uh, V, VLOOKUP, you press tab. So the lookup value, we are looking for this value here. Here, then I'll do a four. I lock only B. I don't lock eleven. I do comma. Our table array. So we are under the we are under the invoices. So our table array will be from here. So our table array is very short here from there, isn't it? Then I'll do a four to fully lock it. Then I do comma. So our column index, because we have just taken one column, so our column index will be one, comma. Our, our we want a true mass, so we'll do one. You close the brackets, control enter, isn't it? Then uh, you double click when the cursor turns black. So it's not double clicking, so I just drag it. You can also drag it up to there. Control home. Let me see.
no, we made a mistake. Actually, we want an exact match score. So an exact match is zero. Control enter. Then I do this way. I'll have to drag up first to change what's not there. So where, where it has written NA, that means that uh, the number is not there, isn't it? I'll drag also down. Sorry, we did, we did a false match. So we want an exact match. Control home. Where this NA means the 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 purchase order number is not on the invoices list. So we'll go to the received notes equals V lookup, press tab. So our lookup value is this one again. Then I press the four to lock B alone. I press comma. Our table array, so our table array is here. This one here. And I press the four to fully lock it. I press comma. Our column index is one because and I want an exact match. So zero, control enter. Then I drag down also this one. Control home, isn't it? So we'll come now because we have just matched like we have matched the purchase order to the invoice, and also we have matched the purchase order to the received note. So we want to 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 match to match the the all three. So first I'll press Control C C to open a clipboard. So this one is where you go, a clipboard here, to the left. So then I'll come to this one here. Then I'll uh, I'll come here. I copy this formula. I do control CC again. As you can see, the formula has been copied here on the clipboard, isn't it? I do escape. I come also to the received notes here. I come, I take the formula. I do control CC. You can see the second formula is here. I do escape go back so now i'll come uh, i'll come here where the three order match will be working isn't it equals then i'll bring in the and function and i press tab so our first logical test it will be this one here our value here then i lock only b then uh, equals to this one the first one here isn't it I've, I've double clicked twice, so I'll remove the, the second one here. Then comma, then our value also here, this one. Then I lock only B, isn't it? Is equals to our second there, isn't it? Then we do control. No, we close our bracket first, then we do control enter. Then we double click, isn't it? So here is where we bring in if error. So you can, uh, from the formula bar up here, you can tab in there and then if, you can see if error there, press tab, then you come here to the last thing, press comma, then uh, you press two double quotes. That means in Excel it writes zero. We do control enter, isn't it? Then you come here. Then we count, we do some count, control, control bolt, isn't it? So equals, then count. So we'll do count if, count if. I press tab, count if. So our range is here. So from here, control shift, down arrow, you press F4, comma. So our criteria, we want the ones that have been written True. So we'll open our bracket, then we write just, we had type in true, we close our brackets. In Excel, you, if you are just writing in a value, you put in quotes, if it's in our formula, isn't it? You do control enter. And uh, you can see that uh, only 14, 14 of the transactions, 14 of the transactions were recorded in all the books, isn't it? Only 14 of the transactions. And I maybe you want to know how many transactions are there. You can also come here, count. So we start with an equal sign, equals count. Now here we just use here this way, F4. 
you close your bracket, enter, and there are 65. So uh, like uh, maybe a total of 50, 51, 51 were not in all the books. Maybe they were in the receiver, but they were not in the, they have not been paid for, or they were the ones that have been paid for, but they are not yet received. So actually that is re order matching and uh, it's just the same concept just the same concept we can uh, repeat here so equals so i'll clear here i'll clear the clipboard then i'll start uh, with the v lookup press tab so our lookup value is this one here then i press a fourth lock c along i press comma our table array here is this one here just the same thing press f4 comma then one comma zero on an exact match isn't it enter also i'll come here equals v lookup press tab so we are looking for this one here i press f4 i press f4 i press f4 again comma our uh, lookup value is this one here then i press f4 to lock it then i one comma zero then I'll close the brackets, control enter. Isn't it? Now I'll come here. I select the two list that way. Then I sorry my my method is going on of power. Let me just put it on power. Okay. So as as I was saying, just come and uh, you drag down. Part the last sorry. Okay, up to the last one there. I can do Alt H B N to remove the borders there. Remove the borders. So actually, there we have done the two. So I'll come and click in here. I I select it. I do Control C C. You can see it's there. Also, I press Escape. I come to this one here. You can take it from up here or you can just double click in and I uh, just take it control CC. You can see that it has reflected here. Isn't it? I press escape to go back. Then uh, now I come here. Here is where we bring the AND, the AND function, press tab. So uh, we are looking for this value. I lock only C and uh, we are matching it to this one, comma. Then we are looking also for this value. I lock only C and we are looking for this one here. I close the brackets, control enter. Then I double click. Isn't it? After double clicking, I'll do Alt HBN to remove the borders because they are not looking pretty. And now I'll bring if error because I somehow, somehow through this one may confuse you. So then if error, you press tab. Then uh, you come here last year, you press comma, press shift, then you close your brackets, control enter. Then uh, for our account, so our account here, our account here is equals count if. So we are looking for count if, press tab. So this one is our range, control shift, down arrow, F4, comma, our criteria I told you is true. So then you close your brackets, control enter. You can see that only eight transactions were on the three lists. So actually, that's what's order matching. Uh, that three way order matching is a very, 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 very simple thing. So I think uh, we will move straight forward to because actually it's about getting the concept. We'll move straight forward to uh, fraud detection. So 